seven. Ball in here. To the registrar is the one. As you know, the other faculty members and I are quite impressed with your performance here at Ravenwood School. So much so that we would like you to travel abroad as a representative of the best Wizard City has to offer. You will compete in a magical tournament, dueling students from other magic schools for the ultimate prize, the Spiral Cup. Sadly, Ravenwood hasn't taken the cup in a long, long while. But we can't give up trying. Please report to Mr. Lincoln in Ravenwood. He can provide you with all the details. That robe is gas. No, but it comes from the Decaversary pack, so... <laughs> Can't get it. Hello there, young wizard. I've been expecting you. The Ravenwood School of Magic must send a student wizard to participate in a spiral-wide tournament of magic. This tournament is a very prestigious event. A chance for students across the spiral to compete for their school's honor. The tournament is held at Pigswick Academy. A rival school to Ravenwood, located on the world of Wisteria. After reviewing all eligible students, Headmaster Ambrose and the other professors chose you to be our representative. You will need this ring to show that you're our champion, the student to defend Ravenwood's honor in the tournament. Mr. Lincoln hands you a heavy ring with an emblem of Bartleby inscribed upon it. Be sure to put that somewhere safe, mind you. Perhaps lock it away in a drawer. It's too precious to carry around loose. Now the spiral door will take you to Wisteria. When you get there, see the Pigswick Academy Registrar, Mrs. Dowager. She'll get you set up and see that you're taken care of. Good luck. Hello there. You must be our visiting wizard. Welcome to Pigswick Academy. I'll need to see your Ravenwood ring. Just a formality, of course. You show Mrs. Dowager the ring Mr. Lincoln gave you. She inspects it and hands it back. Excellent. Be sure to put that somewhere safe. You're here, of course, to build a sense of community between the different magic schools and to try to win the Spiral Cup. Go to the tournament hall to take a look at it. Then speak to Benedict Glendemming. He is both master of arms and our judge. You will probably need to demonstrate your skills in a qualifying match. So be on the ready. When you've passed the qualifying round, return to me and we'll get you sorted out. How exciting. How exciting. Kicking Randolph Spellshine's ass. That's what we gotta do. What this goofy looking at. <laughs> You inspect the Spiral Cup, the greatest prize in all the Spiral. It looks like it's been here a while. How about that? Greetings, visitor. I am Benedict Glem Deming, Master of Arms of Pigsvik Academy. For years, I have taught magic and dueling. With my training, Pigsvik students have won the Spiral Cup again and again. I am also the judge of this fine competition. My decisions are as fair as they are final. You come from Wizard City, no? You have my sympathy. Let us see if that charlatan Diego has taught you anything of worth. To qualify for the tournament, you must step into the chamber of the basilisk, if you will, and defeat Blaze Flamerender. There is no shame in defeat, so do not feel too badly if you do not succeed. Perhaps next year, no? Bruh. Well. This should be easy. <laughs> It's just well, a well, well. A wizard of Ravenwood, huh? I'll go easy on ya. So he has fire. If he does decide to go for a shield, then I can just uh, frostbite. Fortify's a little bit tough, though. Wow! Go and tell Master Glendamit that you won the duel. I wasn't expecting much. You certainly showed me a thing or two. So Diego has stepped up his game, no? Very well, then. You will not be going home just yet. The tournament consists of four rounds of duels, each round against a rival school. You must win each duel to proceed. See Mrs. Dowager outside. She will see to your accommodations within the student dormitory. Good for you. It's been so long since a Ravenwood student competed. I was worried they'd given well, up then. teaching magic you will not there. Be Now that we've determined you'll be staying to compete in the tournament, 
It's time to get you squared away. You should report to the student dormitory. There you can meet the student you will be matched against and introduce yourself. You'll be sharing quarters with Beatrice Wildwind, Kisai Shugenja, Nalia Doonstrider, and uh, Randolph Spellshine. Okay, bruh. You should also take the opportunity to put your Ravenwood class ring away. There's a small dresser. It should be safe there. Should be, huh? Hello. It's nice to meet you. I'm Beatrice Wildwind from Weirwood. I look forward to crossing spells with you. Good luck. Greetings, my fellow wizard. Please allow me to present myself. Kizai Shugenja, representing Mushu in this tournament. Why are your eyes so big? I have longed to pit my magical skills against one of the Ravenwood school wizards. So this is fortuitous indeed. It's a pleasure to meet you, student of Ravenwood. I am called Nalia Doonstrider, and I come from a place called Mirage. I am unsurprised you have never heard of my world. It is a subtle place. An oasis in a desert of mystery. Perhaps we will speak more before the tournament. You're the Wizard City representative? Hmm. The tournament has really lowered its standards this time around, I suppose. Bruh. You don't think you have a chance of winning, do you? The Spiral Cup isn't going anywhere, and I'll be the one to win it. You place the Ravenwood class ring in the dresser. It should be safe here. You should report back to Mrs. Dowager. I trust you had no trouble settling in. It's time you met the headmistress of Pigswick Academy, Belladonna oh, Crisp. <laughs> she makes a point of meeting all students. Please go to the headmistress's office and introduce yourself. Please don't be late. She's a strong believer in discipline. Well, I hope that the world of Wisteria here can get me to level 30. That would be nice. We're already close to level 28, which is nice. I've been waiting. What kept you? I suppose you've been welcomed by Mrs. Dowager and passed Benedict's test, so let's dispense with the formalities. I'm not sure what claptrap and nonsense they fill your head with at Ravenwood, but at Pigswick Academy, we study real magic. The first order of business will be for you to go and meet the professors here. They're a top-notch group, without exception. I hope they can straighten out some of the foolishness Ambrose and his cronies may have passed along. The classrooms are located throughout the city. You should speak to everyone in whatever order you please. They are as follows. Professor Thaddeus Price, who teaches Tempest magic. The Earth Professor is Tempest a very Chester Draws. I do like the idea of Earth being a uh, life, though. That makes sense. Ember magic is taught by Professor Anku. Edna Fuligan teaches Spirit. And Chaos is Hieronymus Bonch. Rounding out our faculty are Quentin Burble teaching frost magic My and Velma Pepper in the Equilibrium classroom. You look confused. You don't know those schools of magic. Speak to our faculty. Perhaps they can help. <laughs> okay, bro. Welcome to the School of Earth Magic, young wizard. From the look of the soil on your boots, you're from Wizard City, right? I am Professor Drawers. Chester Drawers. <laughs> what? Why are you smirking? <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. At any rate, I teach Earth magic here at Pigswick Academy. Magic of ground, growth, and the untamed wild. Because my school is that of the Earth, I find it stifling to teach inside, so I lecture outside whenever possible. Other schools teach flights of fancy and arcane manipulation of ethereal flummery. But Bruh. Earth magic is the magic of the real. From Earth came all things, and eventually... All shall return to its clutches. Unless you have further questions, I really must return to my duties. So many papers right, to grade. Right, that's she got. Hello there! Did I surprise you? I'll wager you're thinking, Whoa, is that a Yeti? Teaching? I'd never expect that. Is your name Lucky too? Lachlan, but close enough. Chaos! That's the sort of thing I teach here. I am Professor Hieronymus Bunch, and Chaos Magic is my school of specialization. Chaos is the magic of the unexpected, the unusual, the unpredictable. It defies logic and turns things downside up. Anything and everything you can imagine can be found in chaos, except order. 
Order is boring. You don't want to find that. We'll talk more later, I'm sure. Well, hello there, my little friend. What brings you here? You want to learn about frost magic? You should talk to someone who knows then. Oh, that would be me. Caught me off guard, you did. Right. Where was I? I am Professor Quentin Purple at your service. You may have surmised that I am not from around these parts. I teach Pigswick Academy students about the nature of frost. Frost is fleeting and quick, a fragile and delicate thing. It appears rarely, but when it does, it forms crystals of amazing beauty and complexity. Frost is like magic in that. Do you understand frost magic now? Because I'm afraid I don't know more Bro. than that. I'm behind in my lesson preparation. Why, hello there, young wizard. You have the look of a newcomer to Pigswick Academy. Welcome to my laboratory. I am Professor Velma Pepper, and I teach the magic of equilibrium. My school represents bringing order to the spiral. The natural world is full of confusion and disorganization, and thus it is the role of the equilibrium wizard to create harmony. We must use whatever tools we have in this important duty. All are equal, so long as they perform the task at hand. I trust that what I've taught you instills a semblance of order to your own worldview. Now, though, I must return to work. British detected opinion rejected? For real. Nobody cares about the opinions the British have. Who dares disturb me? Hmm. You must be here for the tournament, eh? Another of those tiresome meet the professor's tours. Let me introduce myself then. I am Professor Edna Fulogen, and I instruct Pigswick students in spirit magic. Spirit magic concerns the ghostly state that exists after life. We are students of the immaterial world. I've heard of problems with Professor Malastare back at Ravenwood. Maybe his assistant Dwargan will be better. Hey there, Lil Wick. If you get. Well, let's pick up that Zeke quest. Probably have to go back at max level. <laughs> I'll probably never get the one in the archives, so tough, I guess. Greetings, oh honored guest from Wizard City. I am Professor Anku, your humble servant and guide to Ember Magic. Ember magic is about warmth and security. In the cold, dark of the spiral, ember is like a warm rock to stretch out on. Wizards who study ember magic are not very adventuresome and prefer the comforts of hearth and home. Ember wizards are crafters, doctors, and cooks, using flame to forge artifacts, treat injuries, or bake cookies. So from the ember we can learn much. Better to be safe and patient than to leap into action. I hope that explains things. Greetings, young wizard. I am Professor Thaddeus Price, Professor of Tempest Magic. Time to pay attention to my prop before I get yelled at. Have a good stream. See you later, Ant. Glad to see you here. I suppose you're interested in learning something about Tempest Magic, right? Tempest magic is about duality and hidden meaning. Like the tide, it's about the ebb and flow of life. The surface is stormy, to be sure, but beneath it is dark and quiet, and the waters are deep beyond imagining. I gather they teach a slightly different approach at Ravenwood, but I'm fairly certain that here we have it right. How dare you. Did the tour of our faculty help repair the inadequacies of your prior education? Perhaps when the tournament is over, you can transfer from Ravenwood to Pigswick and really learn something. I've heard that at Ravenwood, they teach you that the source of all magic is a tree, and it's in the center of your school. How awfully convenient that must be. Do they really expect you to believe such nonsense? At Pigswick Academy, we recognize that the source of all magic is a fountain, not a tree, and it's right here on campus. If you take a look at the fount of magic, you'll see the error of your ways. It's in the center of campus, not far from here. 
When you're finished, return here and let me know what you've observed. You're a student, so go on, learn something. All I'm saying, the headmistress could be my headmistress. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you examine the fount of magic. Looks like any other fountain. Something doesn't add up about this place. It's just kind of funny how it's serious. It's supposed to be it's supposed to rival Ravenwood and we body the life brought level 20, that's facts. Did you notice anything magical about the fount? I mean, surely you saw how it must be the one true source of magic. You know, we heard from Headmaster Ambrose that you were good at solving problems. I have a mind to put that to use. Go and speak <laughs> with Captain O'Hare outside the gate to Pegasus Place. Tell him I sent you and that you're there to help. Sorry, no admittance. Pegasus Place is off limits to students and faculty until further note. Headmistress Crisp sent you. I'm not sure. If you're anything like the students here, I can't see how that will help. <laughs> Damn. Still, if she vouches for you, then who am I to argue? Let me explain the problem and you see what you can do. Pegasus Place has been taken over by a fierce band of goblins. We don't know where they came from or how to send them back. You'd be doing us a favor if you could jump in and thin the wood goblins' ranks. Make them think twice about staying. Can you go into Pegasus Place and defeat six wood goblins and return to me when you're done? Be careful in there. You certainly sent some of them packing. Things might be a little safer now that they know not to mess with you. Our head gardener, groundskeeper Vern, is missing. Can you go back into Pegasus' place again and see if he's all right? Hey, hello. What are you doing here? This place isn't safe for students. Wisteria was once wild and overgrown with vines, but we cut them back and made this place a school. Pigswick Academy. I am groundskeeper Vern, head gardener around here. It is my job to know every inch of these streets and parks. These goblins and their hobgoblin overseers are new, arriving just when the tournament was to begin. They're not native to this world of Wisteria, so I would like to know where they came from. Since they arrived, some strange new plants have sprung up on Pegasus Place, and I suspect they're tied to the new visitors. Can you go and collect three samples of these strange plants, so I can do some research into their world of Wonderful. I'll compare these to my field journal, Plants of the Spiral, and see what I can learn. With the guards afraid to enter Pegasus Place, the area's undefended. What's the airy? Well, it's the stables where we raise Pegasi to be trained as mounts and gifted throughout the Spiral. If you're up to it, could you check on Lap and Wing Tamer, the stable master of the airy? The airy is just down the street. It's time for a test, my young student. Come to the school and take it, please. I uh, don't really think I'm interested in getting an <laughs> ice guardian at Whoa. the moment. Whoa! I dared not hope anyone would come to find me with the goblin horde all around. I don't know who was crazy enough to send a kid into this place, but as far as I'm concerned, any help is welcome. My first concern is for the well-being of the pegasi under my care. Can you help me see to their feeding? Unfortunately, the goblins came through and stole all of their food. I don't know why, because they don't even eat the stuff. Tell you what, if you want to help, you'll get back five bags of Pegasus feed. You'd be a lifesaver. Well, good work. That reminds me of an old joke. What do Pegasi like to eat? Flapjacks! <laughs> well, Hell thanks yeah. for your help. I'd feel much better, though, if I were able to lock the Ares doors against the goblin horde. I left my keys inside but they were stolen by the hobgoblins when they ransacked the place. Could you recover the stable keys from the hobgoblin who took them? When you get them, bring them back You've to me. You've done it. Thanks to you, the airy will be secure. When the goblin horde first arrived, I did some scouting to see what was going on. I saw where they came from. The goblin sprung from a magical portal down the street. You should take a look at it and tell groundskeeper Vern. You examine the magic portal. It would be risky to interfere with it without understanding it. You should describe it to Groundskeeper Vern. Maybe he's figured out where those plants came from by hmm. now. Those plants you collected for me earlier were listed as native to the world known as Weirwood. <laughs> if the goblins are coming through a magic portal, then it stands to reason that they are from Weirwood as well. 
A student from Weirwood came to the tournament. Beatrice Wildwind, I think her name was. Uh, maybe you've met her. Maybe you can ask her if she knows anything about this magic portal. I'd hate to think she was responsible, but best What's to check. A magic portal? From my world? It can't be! From what you describe, the plant is wild viridian. It grows native to Weirwood, where I come from. The goblins like to use it as a seasoning, so they plant it wherever they go. If it's here on Wisteria, it's their doing. A goblin portal is dangerous to meddle with, but I know of an incantation that can close it, never to return. We'll need some ingredients for the incantation, and those can be found in the Merchant Street, here in Pigswick Academy. Here's a list of ingredients. Visit the merchants listed, and return to me when you have the items on my list. Beatrice copies a list of ingredients from her spell book and gives it to you. Some of these items seem a little strange. Yeah, weren't there some, like, goofy, uh, things <laughs> just on this list? A spindle of enchanted thread spun from fog and spiderweb? I have that right here. A crystal? Made of the dried tears of a cyclops? <laughs> Those are on special this Rainbow week. Rainbow ink from a sky squid. You're in luck. The shipment from Imperia just came in. Some adamant metal filings? Sure, I have that laying around. I usually throw it back in the kiln to melt again. A flask of breath caught from a night gaunt. I'm pretty sure I have one somewhere. You're welcome to it. And they just have everything. It's like, come on, bruh. That is a strange place. There! That should do it! Bad news! I looked at my spell book, and I realized I have the ingredients for the ritual, but I don't have the incantation! They should have a copy of it at the library here in Pigswick Academy. Could you go to the library and get it? I think the librarian is named Hugo Chatterley. Tell him it's of utmost importance! An incantation to dispel a goblin portal? That's not exactly the sort of spell we let new students meddle with. That's in the restricted collection. I can only release the incantation with the permission of the headmistress. Speak to headmistress Crisp and return to me with the per- You know- Okay, shut up. Don't care. Didn't ask. What's this? I send you to help Captain O'Hare, and the next I hear from you, you're talking about dispelling goblin portals? Very well, then. I'm getting a clear picture of how Ambrose runs his school. And believe me, it's not a pretty picture. Take this back to Chatterley and tell him he's to help you to the best of his abilities. Is that all? Headmistress Crisp hands you a permission slip for you to access the incantations book that you need. I understand from okay, your Okay, don't, don't care, the next. Excellent! I took the liberty of copying the incantation you need while you were speaking with Headmistress Crisp. Use it with caution. Hugo Chatterley hands you a strip of parchment paper. You know, don't it care. occurs to me that there's a visit- Wonderful! I hope it wasn't any trouble. If you're the only one who has permission to enter Pegasus' place, you'll have to perform the incantation yourself. Just take the items you collected from the merchants, and the incantation you got from the library, and follow the instructions. You should check in with groundskeeper Vern before you do anything. He should know what to expect if it goes badly. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I hope. You hope? You came back? Don't you realize this place is doomed? You've brought a means of dispelling the magic portal, and all of the ingredients? Let me see that. There is a problem. The final ingredient in the spell requires the soul stone of the leader of the Goblin Horde. The goblins have spoken fearfully of Lord Graustark. I suspect that whoever he is, he's lurking in the tower down the street. You should go and defeat this Lord Graustark and collect his soul stone, the source of his magic. Only then can you use the incantation to dispel the portal. Return to me when you have done that impossible deed. Is it time already for my afternoon snack? I don't remember placing an order for wizard, but you'll do.
go. Wasn't too much of a headache, fortunately. You find a small, gleaming gem, shimmering with power. This must be the soul stone groundskeeper Vern spoke of. You follow the instructions in the incantation, using the items you gathered and the soul stone to power it. When you finish the incantation, the magic portal vanishes. No more goblins will come through it. Hell yeah. Or I guess <laughs> I put a mark there, so I'll just use that. By the great tree, you've done it! Lord Graustark will trouble this street no longer. You should tell Headmistress Crisp the wonderful news. Be proud of what you've accomplished. I plan on getting any Zeus slash Senator gear. Uh, I plan on soloing it once. And then I'll probably do farming streams. That's that? You've impressed me. Maybe you've been able to learn a thing or two about magic, despite your training. Though your aid in the Pegasus place matter is appreciated, it will not affect your participation in the tournament. Speaking of, it is time for you to report to Mrs. Dowager. The first round of magical dueling is about to commence. Why, hello again. I hope you've had a relaxing time settling in. I like the concept of side worlds just in general. It's a shame there hasn't been one in so long. Look at the time. The tournament should commence soon. Oh, but I've yet to give the students copies of the tournament rules. Could you be a dear and help me out? I need you to go give copies of the rules to each of the competitors. Here is one for your own use, and copies for Beatrice Wildwind, Kisai Shugenja, Nalia Dunstrider, and Randolph Spellshine. She looks like she's pushing 70 and talking about a kid like that. Okay, I'm not you even going to worry about it. You can find them all in the student dormitory. Return to me when you've given them their tournament rules. The tournament rules? Thank you. Can you... Oh, no, don't care, the next. Most excellent. I was concerned about the lack of formalities. I will now meditate on the coming duel. Muda smile upon you. You have my thanks. It is wise for them to enforce rules to this tournament. Best for the safety of all. Rules? I don't need any stinking rules. I've got this tournament in the bag. Uh, I don't know about that. I haven't seen this game in a minute. It was good soul. Would recommend getting back into it. It's pretty fun to play. Thank you. Now that that little matter is out of the way, we can get started. It is what you came here for, after all. Before you compete for the Spiral Cup, there is a time-honored tradition students have when they want good luck for a test. You should go into the tournament hall and knock on the Spiral Cup. It rings like a bell. But now it is time for your first magical duel. Off now, and good luck. The Spiral Cup is missing. How could that be? Maybe Benedict Glendeming knows what has happened. There you are. I noticed the spiral cup was missing, and I wanted to see how you would react to that. This is quite suspicious. <laughs> it reminded me I need to complete Wisteria on my max level, yeah. With the spiral cup missing, the tournament will be a mockery. Pigsvik Academy will be known as the school that lost the prize. You should inform Mrs. Dowager about this. She will know what to do. She <laughs> set you up for failure, for real. The what is what?! Do not worry over much. I am certain that the Spiral Cup will turn up sometime soon. It must just be a terrible mistake. If it was taken deliberately, it was undoubtedly the work of someone attempting to discredit Pigswick Academy. No matter. Even without the Cup, the tournament must continue without delay. Please report to Benedict in the tournament hall to start. Damn, I make a bag from this. Mrs. Dowager is right. The Spiral Cup is but a prize. What is important is the skill and courage that wins it. We will see about finding the cup in due course. But now, it is time for your duel. You are matched against Kisai Shugenja, our representative from Mushu. That's you must first. face one another in the Hall of the Hydra. Return here when the duel has a rhythm. Balance guy in the Hall of the Hydra. Yep. Just, uh, just go ahead and do me like that. Greetings, O oh honorable opponent. Though I will defeat you, I hold for you the greatest respect.
were the worthiest opponent I have yet dueled. I have learned much from this encounter, and I thank you for the lesson. Uh, he has learned much from this encounter being just used faint. <laughs> Master Glenn Deming awaits word of the outcome of our duel. Could you deliver it to him? You are the victor? I am surprised. Young Shugenja is quite the duelist. Perhaps Diego taught you something after all. What else do you do? I mostly just post ways on this channel. On the matter of the disappearance of the Spiral Cup, I have examined the area and made an important finding. Congratulations on your victory. You should tell Mrs. Dowager what has transpired and deliver this to her, will you? Benedict hands you a small sealed pouch with his stamp upon it. The first round it. goes to Ravenwood. What's this? A pouch from Glen Deming? Let me see what's inside. It is vitally important that someone tell Headmistress Crisp that the spiral cup has been misplaced. Can you do it? Report to her office and let her know that we are still searching for it. Please give this pouch to her and do not open it. I heard about your victory in the first round. But what's this I hear about the spiral cup? And what's in that little pouch? Benedict Glendeming has sent me a piece of evidence that points to the identity of the one who made away with the spiral cup. Before I make any accusations, I would like you to go to the student dormitory and bring your Ravenwood ring back here. It is probably in the small dresser you were assigned. Please do fetch it at once. You searched the dresser for the Ravenwood ring Mr. Lincoln gave you, but it is missing. Missing, was it? Exactly as I thought. Is this what you were looking for? Headmistress Crisp opens the small pouch from Benedict, and out falls your school ring. Glenn Deming claims this was found at the scene of the crime. It seems highly suspicious. Almost too easy? Headmaster Ambrose must wish to regain the spiral cut, so I wonder if he has sent you to take it by trickery. Still, leaving such an obvious clue at the scene of the crime is such a dunder-headed move. Even for a student of Ravenwood? Despite the loss of the Spiral Cup, the tournament will not be stopped, which means you must return to the tournament hall. Speak with Master Glendeming and see who you are due to compete with next. Return to me when you have completed your match. Mistress Chris sport. wants to continue the tournament. Very well, then. Your next duel is in the Hall of the Harpy. I have drawn lots to see who you will compete with. This round, you must pit your magic skills against Beatrice Wildwind. Speak to her once you get inside the Hall of the Harpy, and begin when you are both ready. The winner must report back to me. Are you ready to begin? I haven't come all the way from Weirwood to lose this match, so don't expect any mercy. She'd still be in kill range of a wand hit, so. I thought I had you. Good match, though. Maybe I'll have better luck next year. I'm sure Master Glenn Deming will want to hear the outcome of the duel. Can you tell him? I never could get a max because I kept adding levels and I didn't play enough, yeah. That was me for a while. And then eventually I just uh, grinded it all up in 2018. You won! Congratulations! So this does not clear you from suspicion. Report back to Headmistress Crisp in her office. I'm sure she has more questions for You've you. You've returned with the air of victory about you. Very impressive. If you wish to prove your innocence, you'll need to do a bit of detective work. Go to the tournament hall and inspect the area where the spiral cup was taken, where Benedict claimed to find your ring. Inspect the area. See if you can find anything that proves you aren't the culprit. Return to me with your findings. You find a few tiny leaves, pieces of bark, and some strands of vine. They don't look like they belong here. <laughs> yeah, this copy pasta. That may have been tracked in by the thief. The clues you found might help us determine the guilty party. Perhaps someone tracked in those bits of leaf and bark. Groundskeeper Vern knows all there is to know about the plants found on Wisteria, the world of Pigswick Academy. Maybe he can help you. Take those scraps of plant to Groundskeeper Vern on Pegasus Place and tell me Let what you me learned. Let me take a look at those. That plant isn't anything native to Wisteria. Ask Professor Drawers outside the Earth classroom. Hmm. He'll know. Very interesting. 
Where did you find this, you say? It looks like the mysterious new growth that overruns all of Tanglewood Way, but there is no way to be sure. Pity the street is closed off to all students. The Spiral Cup will never be recovered, and Pigswick will suffer for it. I suggest returning to Headmistress Crisp and telling her that this investigation is at a dead no end. No was able to identify the mysterious pieces of plant. Most suspicious. All of us at Pigswick Academy must maintain decorum in this trying time. And that means continuing with the tournament. To the tournament hall with you then, where you must meet with Master Glendeming and compete in your next match. Return here when you have completed your duel to continue our investigation into the Spiral Cup's disappearance. I'm afraid your duel is delayed. You must face Naria Doonstrider in the Hall of the Spectre, but she is nowhere to be found. Can you go to the student dormitory and see if she is still there? Warn her that if she does not show, the duel I'm is ruined. Forfeit. My wand! I lost it somewhere and I can't compete without it. I know we're competitors, but can you help me? I was with Randolph Spellshine when I lost it. My world of Mirage has few plants, and I wanted to see Tanglewood Way. Randolph agreed to help me sneak in to see the street, but it was full of strange and scary tree people. I had to flee. Maybe Randolph Spellshine knows where my lost wand might be. Could you speak to him and see if he saw where I lost it? Really? Nalia has lost her wand? It's a miracle she knows it at all. What kind of wizard loses their wand? Sure, she dropped it in Tanglewood Way when she fled in fear. I suppose I could have said something, but why would I? If she can't keep track of her wand and it harms her in the tournament, more power to the rest of us, eh? Go and tell Nalia her wand is still there in Tanglewood Way, if she's brave enough to go get it on her own. It's on Tanglewood Way? Oh, no. I can't go back there. When Randolph Spellshine and I went into Tanglewood Way, we convinced Lieutenant Roger to let us through the gate. Could you go and see if Lieutenant Roger will let you into Tanglewood Way so you can find and return my missing wand? Hold it right there. No one else will enter this street. Two students got in earlier and they barely escaped. If you're looking for a missing wand, you might ask Sergeant Harvey over there. He may have seen it before we closed the way. Sorry, I haven't seen any wand, but then I wasn't really looking when I turned tail and ran right out of there. If you want to go into Tanglewood Way and find that lost wand, there's a small crack in the wall. You can wriggle right through. This looks like it might belong to Nalia. You should check in with Sergeant Harvey, then take it back to her. Looking around, you notice a lot of greenery that looks suspiciously like the plants you found in the tournament. Found it. Good work, that. I'm sure Nalia Doonstrider will want to see it My back wand. soon. I've been beside myself with worry. Thank you so much. Now that I've got my wand, I'm ready to duel. You should go tell Master Glendeming that I'll be there shortly. I'll see you in the tournament hall in the Hall of the Spectre. So, Nalia Doonstrider will be gracing us with her presence, will she? I applaud you for your sportsmanship. If she had not shown up for the duel, you would have won by default. Go to the Hall of the Spectre and show her what you're worth. And return to me when the duel is complete. Nice. Once again, yeah. I thank you for your effort recovering my lucky wand. I will not pull any punches in our duel, though. something to use, I guess. I am indebted to you. You showed me courtesy and sportsmanship, and still, you defeated me soundly. Tell Master Glendeming that you were the winner today. Good luck to you. I hope you are the one who wins the tournament. Let's, like, okay. So, Randolph Spellstrand just shows up out of the blue. He's not in the bracket at any point up to here. And then he just shows up. So it's like, bro. You just might take the prize. I'm watching the standings of all other competitors, and you're one of the few unbeaten wizards. I trust Headmistress Crisp has more business with you. Business concerning the recovery of the Spiral Cup. I'm astonished. You're doing quite well. Would that Wizard City had seen fit to compete these past few years. So, 
You claim to have seen something like those pieces of plant from the tournament hall in Tanglewood Way, right? I think the logical choice is to report to Sergeant Harvey at Tanglewood Way and see if he can help you learn more. All right, we are in the home stretch official. I knew you'd be back before too long. I can't help you with the green men who've overrun Tanglewood Way, even if you're sure they took the spiral cup. I suggest defeating several of them and seeing if they drop pieces of leaf, bark, and vine like the ones you found. Go into Tanglewood Way. When you've gathered some of that evidence, bring it back to me and we'll compare. You notice that all of the creatures on this street move and act as if they're part of a single being. Let's see what you've gathered. It looks like the scraps you took from the green men match those from the tournament hall. Why would they steal the spiral cup? When the green men first appeared, groundskeeper Vern studied them a bit. Maybe he can tell you. I don't know much more than you do, but the Earth magic instructor, Professor Drawers, is the real expert on the green men. He did a lot of work in Tanglewood Way examining them when they first appeared. He ordered the street to be closed. Go speak to him outside his classroom. Drawers should help you get to the bottom of things. I was afraid things. you'd discover that the green men were involved. This isn't good at all. <clears throat> this is a most distressing turn of events. Still, I have just the thing to deal with the green men and recover the spiral cup. Squeaky ass seat, yeah. I've had this chair for I don't even know how long. Step into my classroom, won't you? And let's see if we can't get you straightened out. Oh boy. Time for the fight. I hadn't anticipated you discovering my connection to the Green Men so soon. You won't leave here to warn the others. Myself. Let me get out of this place. Speak to me in the street. I've never been so thankful for a drubbing, let me tell you. The magical defeat you inflicted has broken the enthrallment Lord Bramble has over me. For a while, I will tell you what I can before his spell reasserts itself. Lord Bramble is the culprit, the one behind the theft. Lord Bramble wants to reclaim all of Wisteria to the wild, overgrown state it was before Pigswick Academy was founded. He wants to discredit Pigswick and to pit Ravenwood against it. That is why he chose to have me frame you for the theft. You must go to Tanglewood Way and defeat Lord Bramble in his tower. He has my soul trapped in a wooden doll. Bring it to me. It may be that he still has the spiral cup in his keeping. If it has not been smashed to bits, it will be in Bramble's tower. I knew that Drawers was weak and would fail me, but I did not expect him to fall to a mere child. Come and face your doom.
<laughs> but I was still able to do it. Lord Bramble drops a small wooden doll, the one Professor Drawer spoke of. And there it is, the Spiral Cup. Big dubs You have indeed. defeated Lord Bramble and put a stop to his madness. And with that wooden doll, my soul is now mine again. Go tell Headmistress Crisp that the Spiral Cup is recovered, and the dastardly plot is at well, an end. Well, well, well. You have been busy. I'm relieved to put the matter of the missing Spiral Cup behind us, and I apologize for our suspicions. Could you be so kind as to return the cup to the tournament hall and to speak to Master Glenn Deming about your final match? You return the, the Spiral Cup to its proper place. Why should talk like that for real? Don't forget when you blow up for real. And uh, never forget. I thank you for Greg. restoring the Spiral Cup to its rightful place. Though you have proved a worthy duelist, I feel it will stay here. The student you face for your final round of the tournament is none other than Randolph Spellshine. Randolph is my greatest pupil, the finest student I have ever taught in all of my years at Pigswick Academy. Still, you must at least attempt the formality of the duel. Go to the Hall of the Gorgon to face no, your I'm defeat. I'm just going to go in with the uh, not full health because I'm a thug. Nope, PvP match. Who's playing? Balance mirror. I've been in day one. Hell yeah, I got slow. I think you'd show up. Well, you've had a good run, but this is where you meet your better. My nice opinion. Unfortunately, I am inside your home. You won't last long without shields. You just got killed. I know Pack watch. I'm beaten, though I could barely believe it. You're a better wizard than I am, by far. Go and tell Master Glen Deming that you have defeated the best that Pigswick Academy has to offer. Balling. Unbelievable. This hall will be the emptier for the lack of the cup that has adorned it for so long. Go and tell Headmistress Crisp that Pigswick's record is broken. And that Ravenwood is the How does now. that feel? I can't say good, I'm pleased to see 30. the Spiral Cup leaving our care, but it truly went to the best wizard in the tournament. Return to Wizard City and tell Headmaster Ambrose of your victory. But remind him that next year, we will take the cup back. How was your term abroad? Very interesting. Oh, you've done your school proud and showed them what true wizards are made of. Extra credit for you. I hope so. <laughs> well, okay, that finishes that up. That finishes the world of Wisteria. Done in less than two hours because Wiz. And I've got about four bars left and roughly 5,000 XP to go uh, before I can do Mount Olympus. So that's not going to be too hard, I know from experience. Uh, early Mushu does give quite a bit of XP, so... Greetings, traveler from the City of Wizards. It is always good to see someone from your world visit here in Mushu. So you want to see the Emperor Wizard? I have already said too much. No one may see His Imperial Majesty without permission from His Majesty's Guard. However, I can save you some time. Go speak to the guard Noburu Akitami by the Jade Palace. If anyone can help you, he can. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and hit level 30. I don't really plan to do much of Mushu today. So Lee sent you? Noboru Akitami stares at you for a moment. Very well, esteemed wizard. We are honored that you traveled so far to visit Mushu. Needing the Mount Olympus carry? Uh, come back tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solo it first. You seek his majesty the emperor, but... Another wizard such as you has already come before using the same beguiling words. Malastare was his name. Since that unfortunate visit, 
No one may see his imperial majesty. We will make an exception only if you willingly submit to the tests of mind, body, and spirit. I must warn you that no one has ever passed all three tests except for his imperial majesty himself. If you accept, Lo Pang will administer the first test by the rock garden. Fighting Mushu just kills my brain. I just see green. Yeah. Pirate Mushu is so, so much better. This this world could really use a graphics overhaul. Greetings. I confess that I'm surprised Noboru Akatami sent you. I have never administered the test of mind to anyone other than a monk. Welcome to the Rock Garden, esteemed wizard. I see you are anxious to pursue your quest. However, there are many evils loose in the spiral, and the one you seek to battle is but one of them. Still, to be as the Muda is to be at peace and pure of mind. I hope that the Rock Garden will lead you to peace as it has for me. Go now. Enter and clear your mind. Afterwards, go inside the dojo and see what wisdom you can learn there. Come to me when you are finished with your journey. I will be able to tell if you are truly pure of mind. You study the rocks and the patterns in the sand, and see the manifestation of inner peace and strength. Book of Celestial Wisdom. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Bars. Yes, yes, you have learned much. You are on the path to the Muda. Remember to keep this inner peace within you, always. Return to the Emperor Guard Noboru Akatame with my best wishes. Ah, Lo Peng says that you passed his test. I am now satisfied that you are pure of mind. No, that's because I did Camel Long, I'm pretty sure. I expect a wizard can easily pass the test of mind. But what about the test of body? For your second test, challenge Samurai Yochimotoyo to a duel and defeat him with honor. He awaits you by the water. You Kuta. wish to battle me? I would be honored. I've never faced a wizard. Let us prepare and meet again inside the dojo. Death not movie terrible. <clears throat> Impressive. It was an honor to you walk fight. like a victor. If you defeated Yochimotoyo, you are indeed a formidable opponent. You must be a powerful wizard to pass the test of body, but your training can't help you pass the final test. One's true spirit cannot be disguised. Many would rather run than face the judgment of the Muda. If you are truly pure of spirit, visit the statue of the Muda at the center of the palace grounds and let your true spirit shine. You stand before the statue of the Muda and it suddenly speaks. Young wizard, you have done much good in your time. The shining spirit of a true hero is evident in you. You have passed the test of spirit. Difficulties approach you, but do not despair. If you keep to clarity of mind, strength of body, and purity of spirit, you will ultimately triumph. I just don't like them modifying the source material. Like, if you want to adapt something, at least stay true to the original, that's facts. But at the same time, it's like... They definitely did it for profit. <laughs> you... You passed the test. Most esteemed wizard, you are indeed pure of mind, body, and spirit. Forgive my lack of faith. I only thought of the safety of his benevolent majesty. Find my superior, the Jade Champion within the Emperor's throne room. He will help deliver your message to his Imperial Majesty. So this quest will level me, which means I'll get to level 30, and I'll go ahead and just do the pre-quests on stream. And I'll just record the next step. You passed the three tests? No Buruaki Tame was bored, but wise to administer them to you. You are indeed welcome and needed here. There the it is. Jade Champion sighs with sadness 
as you deliver Ambrose's warning about Malastare. You are too late! The wizard Malastare already petitioned his benevolent majesty for the spiral key to Dragonspire. When his imperial majesty refused, that foul wizard cruelly wounded him and fled through the gate to Dragonspire. I... I could not stop him. Only his imperial majesty can grant you the spiral key. But his wound has made him gravely ill. I trust you to keep this a secret. We do not wish to frighten our people with fear for the Emperor's health. If you wish to use the Dragon Spire Spiral Key, you must restore his benevolent majesty's health. Please speak with Tan King, the High Monk. He can tell you how. Hello, young wizard. I'm ready to teach you a new spell if you'd like to come to the school. Which I believe is Blighthouse. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go to Cyrus and just get the prequest out of the way. And I will have the solo posted as episode 8. Brother should never underestimate Daphne Blue. She made it out of the hood. Don't play with her. Thanks. Well, alright. Didn't get a tutorial tip, but I know I could just get it anyway. <laughs> There we go. You are by now, no doubt, familiar with the immortal game, yes? No? <sighs> hmm, clearly you are falling behind in your reading for the term. No matter, I have a practical solution at hand. The immortal games are an open challenge hosted by the denizens of Aquila, one of my favorite empires to study. Unlike other provincial tournaments, this is more of a free-form approach. They are open to any students of magic, not just wizards. The games will push you to your limits, but are an excellent test of your determination, wits, and fortitude. Impress the immortals of Aquila, and who knows what secrets you might glean. Go and speak to the legionnaire Romulus on Cyclops Lane. He will tell you how to begin the competition. Well, all right. So, yeah, we can go to Romulus. It feels like just yesterday, bro, <laughs> that I was <coughs> freeing those three. Many great aids, wizard. If you are sound, then all is well. Professor Drake sent you? He has much favor with my people. Ah, he told you to ask about the immortal games? The immortals of Mount Olympus, the greatest heroes and champions of Aquila, host this Herculean competition. But I've been away so long, I've forgotten the way home. Seek Harold Argleston in the library. He'll know how to get you there. Today, I hope you aren't here to research for Professor Falmere. She is very kind, but I am not fond of smoldering books. <laughs> you are working on a study for Professor Drake. Most admirable. I applaud your courage. What do you need to know? How to reach Aquila? Why, simply use the Chariot of Aethon. That's the monument in the park on Cyclops Lane. It's been there forever. You must have passed it at least a hundred times. I'm surprised you've never asked about it. I believe we have a scroll that explains how to activate it. Search the upper shelves under CH. You search under the CH section that Harold Argleston directed you to. There are a number of scrolls here. Chariot of Fire, Chariot of the Sea, Chariot of the Sun, Chariot of Thunder, Chariot of Ithacali. Oh wait, here it is. Chariot of Aethon. It was just out of order. The instructions look simple enough. You should take it to Romulus. <laughs> you gotta watch the video on the Wizard stuff. That was something. I might have to. <laughs> I might have to be next. And all the Wizards I have quested past level 30, which is 10 on the main and 6 on the all. None have got full Zeus gear ever. Yeah. <clears throat> If I can get full Zeus, then all the better, but I'll settle for Senator if I have to. Librarian Argleston told you to use the Chariot of Aethon? Of course! It will take you to the Garden of the Hesperides, and from there you may enter the Immortal Games. 
Anyone from the Spiral may compete to prove themselves in this magical challenge. Those who are victorious win honor and praise and glory. Those who fall short, well, they are welcome to try again. Once they have, use the Scroll of Aethon to activate the chariot and travel to Aquila. Once you reach the Garden of the Hesperides, speak to the satyr Silenus. Silenus tends the garden and is a philosopher and poet. He will explain the immortal games. Okay. <clears throat> well, something seemed to work. Big dub. And then I'll talk to Silenus, and that'll be where I end the stream. Hail, wizard. How will the world speak your name? You have come to put your name forward in the Immortal Games. Uh, we are honored whenever a participant takes up the call. The Immortals, the great winged lords and ladies of Aquila, enjoy crafting challenges and seeing who can overcome them. There are three parts of the Immortal Games in total, each with its own grave risk and thrilling rewards. The first competition will take you to the heart of Olympus, the home of the Immortals themselves. Speak to my oldest daughter, the nymph Egli. She will tell you more, then return to me. Fair wizard, it is a pleasure to meet you. I welcome you to our wondrous home of Aquila. Mount Olympus is the home of the immortals. They have lived there for as long as memory and have mastered the great forces. The immortals created these games for their own amusement, but also to reward the most skilled magicians in the spiral. In Olympus, the shining city upon the mountain, you will face battles of wits, magical duels, and the lightning itself. You have a kind face, so I hope, good wizard, you have- Nope, uh, nope, not doing Gladiator Demacaris quite yet. We're gonna relax with that. We're not even gonna bother until, you know, level 90. Wizard, did Egli tell you of the greatness of Olympus and the demanding trials before you? Ascend the stone stairs carved long ago by Hephaestus Coppersmith, and they will take you right to the gates of Olympus. Athena Battle Site will meet you. She will tell you what you must accomplish to complete these immortal games. All right, that is going to end the stream. I will record. <clears throat> it's just uh, it's like a farming stream. Or <laughs> I'll, I'll record, uh, quote unquote, episode eight, and I'll post that one in you know its chronological order. It won't be for a while, but I and. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll do a farming stream for this, so stay tuned. I will try to do it around 7 p.m. Eastern, but no guarantees. I kind of just freeform it, <laughs> stream when I feel like it, but yeah. My cousin said he saw a gladiator at level 30 on a storm. I call Cap. Yeah, I mean, especially with his natural attack and how much those minions spam Frost Giant. No chance. <laughs> I love you, Ice Gold. Thank you, Console, though. Appreciate the support, but yeah. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ice Gold. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave like 50 comments for the algorithm. And for this crazy looking hat that I am so glad I'm going to be able to change shortly. And I'll see y'all later.